Yo, it's another episode of Drinks with Jinx, the podcast where we chill, conversate, drink. Part two, baby. ODM Slim, what it do, baby? What we doing? What's the deal? What's the deal? Hello. Yeah. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? You know what I'm saying? We shit, we was on live for what about an hour? About that. On YouTube Live about right that, now. Yeah, that. that that was cracking. Gotta get the people a little bit something. They'll know we you know what I'm saying. We a little Costco party. sample. Exactly. You know, know what I'm how saying? Hell you know yeah. Saying, so yeah. what's new with you, man? I, I, I ain't had you on here in a couple months, man. man. I've been working, man. I've been grinding. Tell me man. something new. Tell me something new. Since I left, I uh, started a YouTube channel. It's true. That's true. The channel. We had about 9,000 subscribers at this moment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We, we, we working, we grinding, we hustling. Mm-hmm. Um, I just been trying to get it together. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what y'all got going on and, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to partner up with y'all and, and, and make this money. Hell you know yeah. Doing. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. How's everything going with the music? Oh, it's great. Um, we had a uh, cool little offer on the table. Uh, it was counter offered by somebody else. I don't want to put their name out there, but it was okay. counter offered. I um, want to sit back and and, and want to analyze it. Like right, I okay. See what's the best thing for my team. Right. Um, not even about the money wise, more of the future, the mm. whole thing. You know what I'm saying so. We uh gonna analyze a little bit. We're gonna keep it independent at this very, very moment. Okay. But we're gonna we gonna see if we can um make a big, big uh contribution, a big deal in the in the future. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. Right. I know you was here uh last week when I interviewed C Max mom. Right, right. And um uh, that's gonna be a classic interview too. Well, it is a classic interview. Mm-hmm. Um but man, I'm proud of you though, homie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, bro. Last time you didn't have your YouTube channel. No. Now you do. Right. It's popping like some chicken in the skillet. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. <laughs> and, right. and, and I see you doing a lot of moves, connecting, man. Getting getting your content up, getting your right. um, connections up, and all that. That's what it's about, bro. We'll talk. We'll and, talk. and now tell them what we were talking about off camera um, about the elevating each other, helping people out, and stuff like that. As as black men, uh, like I said, you know? um, as a black man, like. Well, just people, period, just being indigenous, period. You know what I'm saying? We the people that that been suppressed a lot. So I think that this is, for me, this is my thinking, not everybody else thinking. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's, we, I'm tired of just blaming the next person. Mm. We got to take what we can and take it in our hands, and we got to do something with that. Mm. We have numbers. It's power in the numbers. So if we take our numbers and use it for ourselves, it's monumental. Yeah. Straight up. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if we just take, we, we, I always say this, bro. We, we, we take a lot of, we, 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 we downplay a lot of people, mm. different communities, different, um, um, necessity, uh, you know what I'm saying? People, yeah. different races, whatever. So we, uh, as we did respect people, we would say that, uh, they this, they that. But one thing they is, they stick together. And we could take this that from somebody. This mm. that part. Mm. You take that, we can be the powerful. We won't talk to the LBG community. We won't talk to about the Hispanics. We won't talk about any other race. The 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 the, um, the um, Asians and we talk all these races. Mm-hmm. They stick together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they stick together. Right. They put something out. They they they, they do everything together. They move in the house. 15, 20 of them, whatever you want to say. Y'all want to clown them, but they being smart. They all put goods in the house. Everybody say 15, 20, but like six or seven of them, right? Mm-hmm. They take a three bedroom. They, they they bunk up. They get they they all work, right? All of them work. They get they check. They pay the rent and they buy the next property next mm-hmm. door. That part. Then they buy the next property. So now they they just boom. Right? And I have another six, seven. But as they doing, they they monopolizing what they is. They understand it's, it's working their numbers. They working with their numbers. They know their numbers is power. And they utilize that. Yeah. And as black people, we don't utilize our numbers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, we willing to hate on one another. We willing to talk bad on one another. We willing to do all this to one another. But we ain't willing to ha- offer a help. Exactly. Help a hand to the next brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the problem. That's yeah. a big problem. It's a big issue, man, right. in, in, in the black community, man. Right. And that's something that we need to change, bro. You know, um, a lot of people is always looking to come up on the next man. And 
right. get over on them and, and how they can leech from them and, right. and stuff like that. And it's not about that, bro. It's about generally just helping each other out. You see what, what I'm saying? It's, it's like, like about, yeah, about bro. Empowering one another, bro. Right, right. By any means necessary. Right. That's it, what niggas want to, that's, that's why I keep saying that. By any means necessary. Mm. So that means if I'm feeling bad today, I could be feeling low and don't want to do none of this stuff. But I empower you. So if I'm feeling low, you're going to feel low, right? So guess what? I need to get off my butt and empower you. Mm-hmm. Say some encouraging words to you. Hell yeah. So you can return the favor to the next man. And that's what it's about, bro. And, and we, we sleeping on that. Right. It's, e- it's either evolve or dissolve. <laughs> that's, that, that's powerful. That's powerful. You see what I'm saying? That's real powerful. That's deep. You, feel, that's, you, you that's smell powerful, it? That's powerful, bro. That's powerful. <laughs> you got to evolve or you're going to dissolve. Right. You and know that's what that's I'm saying? That's a whole community. That's a whole race. Yeah. That's where everybody's understanding. One person, you think, oh, I'm thinking like this. But one thought can change the whole community. Yeah. One thought. One leader can change and do something else to the community. Mm-hmm. And what people do is they see these leaders and they put money behind them and they do this behind them and they, they want to, oh, you got this type of following. So as you got this type of following, I want you to push this type of narrative. Right. If, and that when you do that, the person, you sell out the community. You sell out your community because the people that follow you, you went behind a dollar to understand something else. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to push this on your community and you're going to go for it. Mm-hmm. You ain't a real leader. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They kill our leaders, right? And they dethrone our leaders at the same time, too. So if you're a leader and you feel like you got some type of power in this net and you go behind and get to the money, you know what I'm saying? Al Sharpen type niggas, mm. Jesse Jackson type niggas. They started off cool. Started off with a great with a great movement. Right. But then it came out the paper. Mm. It only come out when it's a big story. Mm. It's some money involved. Yeah. I'm gonna come out every time just because my people are involved. That's what it's about. I'm here for my people. If you ain't here for my people, bro, you you against my people. And that's what it is. Not just saying black itself. I'm saying the community, the culture itself. I'm from the hip hop culture. I'm from the black community. I'm from this brown community. I'm from this community of the minorities. Right. And I stand for these people. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you from the jump, bro, we the resistance. When people understand, bro, and the history, it always been resistance. People understand that they want to take that out of they don't take the resistance out. They want to tell the history in they, they, they way. When you see the real history, you always see the resistance. Mm. And the resistance is the legendary people. But always, the Nat Turners. And all of them saying, you hear about Harry Tubman and the Snat, they're going to take the Snat. That was just, that was a, a fiction of personal imagination. She was a real woman. Yeah. Her name probably was Harry Tubman, right. but she was a real woman. That fixture was a woman out that was out there grinding about trying to free their people, the resistance. Mm. And like I said, we resisted all this negative, this, all this nonsense that people putting out to our communities. And that's what I stand for. And that's what we gonna stand for as people. We gotta stand for this. Or we gonna be extinct. Yeah. Simply plain. Yeah. That's just regular. And you know, a lot of people sit up and say <clears throat> that the number one killer of the black man is racist, white police officers and stuff no. like that. No, it's other black men. Not even say other black men. I'm going to tell you, it, it, it's the culture, it, it's the community that, it's the environment they put us in. So if we got to be product of our environments, right? Mm-hmm. We taught to survive. And By any means. By any means necessary. So right. I got to have a blur on me. And I got to walk down the street with a gun and all this other stuff. By any means necessary, I have to do this. I have to do this because by t- if, if I don't, tomorrow I will not be here. Mm-hmm. And see, I think the city um, councils, the 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 governors of the cities, um, the governor, everybody, they, the police officers, everybody, the mayors, everybody, like they gotta know this, bro. They play a part. You see what I'm trying to say? They play a deep part. It's only suppression if, if, if everybody play their part. Right. How much suppress a race, a strong, powerful race, if everybody don't play their part? It's a system. Yeah. 
We must destroy this by any necessary. When they say that, we see the Black Panthers. We see people like Harry P. Newton and certain people, they, they, they plant people in these things. Mm. They call them pro. These are real life programs that's built by FBI and all that to break down a race. Yeah, yeah. And it's going today. That's when we get the whack 100s. Speak on that. We get the Charleston Whites. Mm. They are part of this whole Cohen Pro. They are a big part. So everybody that stands behind them are part of Cohen Pro. I can care what you say about, oh, I look at this part. It's shock value. I have no shock value. Let me ask you, when it comes to Charleston White, do you disagree with everything he says? Or is there it's a certain not, percentage it's, it's, of stuff that, that, that he right. says that you do? Because right, personal, personally, personally, I agree. Listen. Me personally, I agree with a lot of stuff, right, but listen. there's a lot of stuff I do now, listen, not agree something. with that he me. says and does. This is my granny always told me. My granny always told me this. Yeah. A clock is always wrong. I mean, it's always right twice a day. You know, a, 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 a broken clock is always wrong twice a day. That's day. It's, it's wrong. It's right twice a day. Never heard that. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter what I'm putting out there. I can always hit something on a nail at least once or twice mm. because I'm talking about a broad situation. Mm. So if I got up a broken clock, Damn. if it say 12.01, it'd be 12.01 it twice a day. Mm -hmm. If it a.m. or p.m. That part, hey, I'll cheers to that. <laughs> hey, that, 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 that's game. That's on, game. Bro. Go ahead. He don't want to be right. He don't want to be. He want to tear down the community. And every time he is right over certain things that he say, oh, I would do this, right? But it's a hundred more things that he say that's going against the community. Yeah. So you're going to get people like you to say, oh, yeah, I thought that was smart. And that's the shock value it is, really. The shock value is to get, you catch on to the shit that you think that's smart. You catch on to things that you think that's hot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fuck about the hundred percent, then, then you catch on to the ten percent. Mm. And you catch on to that 10%, I did my job. Mm. Now, but at 90 I'm putting out, I hope you turn into one of me. You get the WAC 100s. Okay, speak on that then. What do you mean by that? WAC 100 is the most pathetic. To me, I call him Master Splinter. Master Splinter? <laughs> He's Master Splinter. <laughs> He's Master Splinter, bro. Master Splinter... Well, Master Splinter is, 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 a, is a rat. It's a mouse. It's a rat. That's what a splinter is. He's a rat. Okay. He's a rat. And Damn. he's a rat in a human form. He's a walking, talking rat that controls a certain narrative. You know what I'm saying? He tried to control a certain narrative. So I say Master Splinter. Master Splinter controlled it. Then I'm saying the Ninja Turtles. Mm. So... Everything at the time, Master Spinner was in the thing. He's putting on to the right front. I'm doing everything positive. But at the same time, you got to understand he's still a rat. Mm. That's why I say Master Splinter. Because in the same form, he's still a rat. Damn. You try to take over and make it own. He's this. He's that. He's a rat. He talk about every leader we have. You tear him down. You don't understand. You know, you know, you know yeah. Jewish, Jew, um, Judas and the Black Messiah? Mm -hmm. You understand what that was about? Yeah. That was a man that was planted there to take our leaders away from us. Everything we felt, we believed in, we cared about was taken from us in that house that night. Right? By a rat. By a deceiving motherfucker. Simple and plain. Damn. Simple and plain. He was conniving. He was deceiving. He was planning to destroy us. And that's what he is. <laughs> Damn. Simple and plain. That's what it is. Damn. There's no other words I can explain. Right, right, right. This is what it is. Right, okay. I'm here for my people so I go against everything that's not for my people mm. and I've been on this man's neck from the jump you have been 
You have been. And, it, and it's not a coincidence, bro. Let me ask you. So you don't think there's any way y'all could just sit down as men and be cool? You like said try that to, I asked you that's I, the first time. I, I did ask you the first time. Now. And I swear to God, on my kid's heartbeat, if I sit in front of this man, I would break this motherfucking man jaw. I'm telling you on my mama. I'm just being 100% 100. Wow. I would break this nigga jaw. If he come across me to say, oh, and make up a lie in my face across the stage or across anything for me, bro. It's on. Jinx. And he just close to me, Jinx. It's on. Nigga. It's on. On my kids, I would kick this nigga face in. Whew. I'm just TP1000. And I'm willing to be, because, nigga, I, I stand for something, bro. I have more of. Nigga, my mama, nigga, my daddy. Still, nigga, taught me, nigga. A lot of morals. Told me, nigga, I done been a nigga in, in some sticky situations. My parents. Nigga, I'm from nine, I'm dying. My daddy, shout out my daddy, nigga. Shout out Raymond Bell, nigga. Raymond Avenue Crip, nigga. Dead homies. Nigga, boy, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Nigga, take that. Mm. Nigga, y'all decided to do that. Mm. Nigga, I'll be damned if my son be a rat, nigga. Period. I love you to death, nigga. And this is, is what comes with this shit. Be 100. And this nigga got 100 in his name. Boy, you more like 22 or 25. Let me get that, because that's the Deuce 5. That's the rat gang they call in the prison, Deuce 5. Rats. You ain't no 100, nigga. You're a quarter. Let me ask you, Slim. Is there any motherfucking way that we could get an ODM Slam versus a WAC 100 celebrity boxing match? Wack 100 is scared of me, bro. I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep all it clean with you. Yeah. It ain't no even though trying to pop myself up. It's not. I've been doing this stuff like for 20 some years. Right. In the streets. I'm 100. My my my, my team vouched for me. I have no way, no in in hell, a nigga like him could ever step to a nigga like me. And not just real. In the street or in boxing. In everything. So we know he's not going to fight me. So me saying, oh, I'll fight WAC 100, just pumping WAC 100 up. I know he thrive off the attention. Mm. That's the only reason he's something to become relevant. Because, nigga, you're not relevant and he's nothing. But right now on this YouTubes and this clubhouses and all the other places where he, Hunter ENT, making these rooms and Changing narratives. Mm. Only way you relevant. So if I even condone or want to sit and say this and that, it's me being next to Jagger. Edgar. Okay. So it's like, well, I will sit next to Jagger Hoover? Yeah. When I would be in the room with him, when I sit on the stage with him, and how would that look for me to be a real-life bloke? Been doing it some 20-some years, been in the pen, right. all this shit, stumped down nigga. Right. And then sit next to Jagger Hoover. Mm. How would I look like? See Bop next to Jay Edgar? <sighs> that hurts. What about Milk? That's Lil Jagger. Damn. You think he would ever get in the ring and fight you? N these niggas will never fight me, bro. These niggas will never fight me, bro. I'm going to keep it all the clean. Street. In these the street, in the alley, in the boxing I'm ring. Not no nigga. I'm not the biggest and better nigga. You see this one right here? It's, this motherfucker, well, this one, this motherfucker fucked up. I got a bullet wound that, you know what I'm saying? It's all metal in yeah. here, this and that. Even my shoulder in here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I knock niggas out for a living. And I'm just telling you the truth. I put niggas out. That part. Now, I'm not the best. Oh, nigga, I can't, nigga, I can't get whooped and all that. Oh, that's not a lie. I right. would never say that. Right. I would never say that. There's niggas out there that's bigger and better than any nigga. Way that, much size than that me. That part. But that every nigga right that I didn't fought in my life, it told me, hey, bro, you got to squabble. Right. You can fight. It ain't about you just throwing your hands. You really know how to fight. Techniques. You got techniques. There you go. You can watch. Mm. You, you, you landing shit. Right. You waiting. Like, Countering and all that. that. There you go. You, you know, a lot of box, because, you know, I've, I've done the boxing for years, and a lot of people say, um, you said, uh, Stick and move, right? right? Stick and move. Right. I believe you should move and stick. I always listen. That's why I listen. Did I, I fuck you up reason, with that one? No, <laughs> because 
I'm an attacker. I'm an aggressive nigga. Yeah. So the reason I don't let a nigga get, because I'm, I'm a little nigga. Okay. So you won't really understand how much power I got until I hit you with this shit. Mm. So when I hit you with this shit. Ring they fucking I, bell. On my, my, I saw Jesus' daddy. Every nigga I done fought, like, nigga, I swear, I would never thought you hit like that. I would Shh. never think in life that you hit like that. Something crucial. <laughs> Something it's crucial. Like, out of dead homies, like, fuck right. with a Mack truck. Right, that part. That part. <laughs> no, for <laughs> no. And, and, and that's why I don't think people should underestimate other right. people. That's because why I don't do that, I don't do that Because, at all. look, I done seen some niggas, bro, that's five foot two. Right, go to work. And they got hands. Right. But I'm not saying hands as far as like, oh, they just throwing hands. No. They got they they gonna hit you with something crucial than a motherfucker. Bro. They knocking niggas out that's my size. Bro, that's what you know saying. what I'm saying? And I'm a little nigga, bro, and I swear to God, I got <clears throat> it's, 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 it's technique. Right. With discipline and training. Yeah, yeah. So it's I understand when I fight streetwise that I can't get my legs up a lot of times. That I can't elbow a nigga a lot of times. Mm. So I throw these things to a frustrated nigga, to a nigga want to grab me, mm. and that'd be the wrong reason. He grabbed me, then now I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing his neck, and he know he's in a grapple now, that he don't understand that my knee's going to a... Right. Boom. Some Muay Thai shit. Yeah, come on, come on that's now. What, yeah, that's what exactly. exactly what that. Muay Thai. Hey, Muay Thai. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yes, sir. Virginia Zitsu. That's exactly what All it is. All that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to plant these elbows and knees into a nigga's face, and now uh, guess what? These elbows and knees ain't normal. Right. They got metal in them. Exactly. So guess what? Jesus Christ is there with you. Yeah. Believe in him. That's, you got, at you got that moment, then you got an advantage. <laughs> I, and that's why I don't come in. I, I want to fight everybody. Yeah. I come humble because nigga, I know what I'm gonna do to you. Right. You come to me, I must defend myself. And when that switch, when necessary. that when that switch is on, that motherfucking switch is it's on. It's going, bro. That's it. I'm my mama kids. That's that's what I'm talking I'm about. My mama kids. You know what I'm nigga saying? T fly blowing me up right now, bro. Hey, let me ask you: Is there anybody that you would like to celebrity box though? That you think would actually get in the listen, ring with you, not just run their fucking mouth. Listen, I don't want to set this rifle on any nigga. Right. My whole goal, my whole thing is not to set this rifle on any nigga. I stay away from that. I'm getting older. Right, I stay away exactly. from that. You know what I'm saying? But I love to fight. I fight for a different type of my mind go to a different place. Now you want to kill me. Now you was an enemy. Now I'm gonna destroy you. My mm. enemy necessary. That is my mindset. Mm -hmm. When I fight. I don't give a fuck how little you is. You could be two foot three. Right. Nigga, you gonna kill me. Mm. You gonna murder me in this ring. So I must, I must slap you with my feet, hands, and elbows. Yeah. Fast. I must hit you with every power. I must hit you with every technique I need. I must, every, every way I move, from my knees, from my way more, my plant, my plant of my feet. Right. It must be set to every curve, to where I move my hip yeah exactly it must connect yeah it's in the hips it bro it must it's in the hips what's Shakira say the hips don't lie Shakira, <laughs> Shakira. <laughs> hey it's a hey I, once hey that's why I say bro when it comes to like this boxing shit bro it's real you gotta stretch and, and you gotta unlock your hips because a lot of shit has to do with the hips and the Listen, knees bro I've been in jail and your waistline too, like being able to, right. you know what I'm saying, move around right. and shit like that, bro. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, right. right. And um, no, but you're right though about that motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We put stop and, right uh, now. Boom. Let's start. get it. <laughs> let's roll. So <clears throat> let's get to 600. Christopher Lovejoy. How, how's everything with y'all? Y'all relationship? Y'all cool? Listen, I'm gonna keep all that clean with you. Keep it one thousand. Well. One thousand. My main focus is C Mac. Right. So, Christopher Lovejoy and me, we, I'm not fucking with cuss. Simple and plain. But at the same time, C Mac want to do different things. You know what I'm saying? Christopher got a lot of shit going on. Christopher ain't the ultimate enemy. But if Christopher want to get it in, I will beat Christopher ass. He Christopher Lovejoy to me. My family, my Wait, wife. Wait, hold on. No. Okay, okay, go ahead. Keep my going, kids. Keep going, keep, uh -huh. They're rolling 60s. Christopher Lovejoy is Christopher Lovejoy to me. That 600 shit is some industry shit to me. I'm just keeping it real with me. I'm slim. I'm, you can go check my uh, Carfax. C-Bop. Right. Go check the Carfax. Okay. 
Could we see an ODM and Christopher Lovejoy for celebrity boxing match? I would beat the fuck out of Chris. Yeah, Christopher Lovejoy. Let's get it in. Oh, shit. Let's get it in, Christopher Lovejoy. Oh, shit. Let's get it in. Oh, shit. That's what I would do. I would hurt that man. Let's get it in. Christopher Lovejoy, let's get it in. We will get it in, Christopher. Boxing match. Boxing, Boxing match. rules. Boxing rules. We got to set that up then. Set that up. We got to set that up. You know, because Don King probably don't want to see that happen. Because Don King, you know what I'm saying, already cut the other match off. You know what I'm saying? Don yeah, King yeah, yeah, is yeah. a cricket mother effer in the first place. Right. That part. <laughs> That Don King. That if you run with a cricket niggas, you that's like running. That's again, we run. We, we it's like a circle. We we, we keep running to rat run hunting, rat one hunting. When you hang with niggas like this, birds of a feather fuck together. Mm. I'm gonna keep all it clean. Like I don't like to put my family business out there and all that type of stuff. Right. So I don't like to do that type of stuff. But right, right. Wifey be going through a lot of stuff right now with a lot of people that she called herself friends with and all that. You know what I'm saying? And it just. So go to show you if a real friend is this person that's going to care for you and, and rock with you regardless of anything. When people make up excuses why they don't want to rock with you, it's because they had envy in you in the beginning. Yeah, and they didn't support you from they the beginning. They didn't support you from the beginning. Right. They used you for your support. I agree. You know what I'm saying? And I always stayed up, away from all this type of stuff because this would, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for my bitch. Mm -hmm. Simply plain. I'm not here for you. I'm not here for nothing you got going on. I'm going to rock with you. Same thing with Kimi. Kimi, my dog. Kimi, my, that's my girl best friend. So I'm, I'm going to rock with Kimi Donna all the way out. Mm. I'm going I'm to, I'm everything I got for Kimi, I'm going to give I'm Kimi Donna. Like I said, we set a day for Kimi Donna here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm, I'm going to rock with Kimi all the way out. Right. But everything else don't mean nothing to me, bro. That's the type of thing I am, bro. I'm a loyalty type nigga. I, I, I go on loyalty, respect, and honor. Yeah, straight up. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, that's what the world lacks these days, bro. And, that's and a lot about. of that shit ain't even in friendship anymore, bro. Or in, or, or in niggas' hoods and blocks anymore, bro. Niggas killing their own niggas. And that's what that's in, 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 Entered uh, hood beefs yeah. and shit. You it's know called, I, call, I call that shit civil war. Right. Civil war is, 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 is when somebody from the same thing in their, say, countries or whatever, mm -hmm. they battle government, battle with the, the, the natives or whatever. Same thing with each other. Gang, we we just say gang, gang. We 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 stop trying to look, um, look at gang at on a little scale. Yeah. We look at gang banging as a bigger scale because gang banging is a part of all this stuff they they got us in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the suppression is a part of gang banging. <clears throat> Let me ask you something, Slim. What you think about the whole uh, Charleston White and Soldier Boy? Incident that happened with him getting pepper sprayed. I'm going to keep it all the way clean <laughs> with you. <laughs> Charleston White is one of the biggest hoes alive. He's the biggest clout chaser. He's the nigga that I do, would never respect in life. He want the escalator. He want to take the escalator route. Mm. He don't want to take the stairs. Mm. He's an escalator approacher. He wants you to be, go big. He wants you to get big. And I want to take, that's the same thing with 100. They escalate the routes. We're going to take the elevator routes. Mm. We don't want to go grind this shit. We don't want to do hard work. We want to see that you blew up and you blew up. And we want to take and say we going to destroy you. Damn. That's the only way we can survive. That's the only way we can become some type of person. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, cold. that's just real. Think about everything he did. Charleston White. He tried to destroy Nip. Any type of nigga that's a, a, a figure out here. Um, first, first of all, nigga, rest in peace, Nip. Rest in peace, uh, Slim 400. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, all my niggas out there that, 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 that lost their life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Draco and all that. <laughs> they um, build these stages and disrespect these people. For what reason? What, 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 what satisfaction you get out of doing that? You don't get no satisfaction, you get views. You get people that fight, felt that way towards these people or people that didn't feel the way towards these people. You get mixed emotions. So then when you get mixed emotions, I want to say something smart. Mm. Oh, black people do this. Oh, we don't even fight for each other. We don't do this and that. Then the black game makers, they like they scared of the Mexicans. Oh, they just snap. Then you throw something out there, which is calling more confusion and which is causing more uh, 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 damage to the community. It's no, no reset. Anytime... You know what these people not not for us, cause they don't come for no uh, resolvement. Mm. There's no res like, oh, hey, 
to, to resolve this, you got to do this. It's just a lot of more confusion. So that's why I say these people are planning here, bro. Because there's no more, it's nothing, it's no resolving coming to none of the shit they All doing. Right. All right. It's once I just say this, I'm going to say this. Once I say this, I'm going to say this. After they, they get done with this, I'm going to say this. What we ain't talking about now is we're going to keep, let's, let's go back to spin back to whack. About him getting beat up and all that, right? So now, if I'm getting beat up and I'm getting punked, right? How can I spin that? Spin a narrative. What I'm going to do is, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say I'm punking another person. Mm. I'm going to beat up another person. So that's we come with CEO Reek. So, he, yeah, CEO Reek's not the co-host anymore, right? Bro, this is all a play, bro. That's a play. All is a play. Because if I was CEO Reek and WAC 100 came to me and, and told me all this type of stuff and this and that, woo, already I got information. Because what we all know WAC 100 is a hoe. We all know he runs his mouth to everything. All this relationship problems, all this everything problems. He runs to people and tells people this. It's people got patterns. You see the patterns. So we know this mm. on God. So guess what? With 6 9 would supposed to be uh, a nigga, uh, a Hassan Campbell. All these type of people. He ran back and told these people this, right? I posted, told him in secrecy. So the shit I told Hassan Campbell got to be true. Nip got to be gay because I told Hassan Campbell in secrecy. Mm. Nigga, you's a bitch. <laughs> Everything you start for, you's a bitch. Let me talk to you, whack 100. I'm going to talk to you right now, nigga. You's a bitch. Nigga, on these two fingers and a thumb, nigga, I stand on these grounds, nigga. Fuck you. When I catch you, nigga, I'm going to break your jaw. On the set. You a whole ass bitch. Nigga, everything you speak on, everything you talk about, bro, is nonsense. I want every nigga to understand from New York, Pennsylvania, everything on the East Coast that comes, nigga, UK, whatever. Understand this. He's nobody in our community, nigga. He's a nothing. He would never come in our community stand grounds. You see me running through hoods and all type of shit. I fuck with Pablo niggas, blood niggas, and all that. I stand on them grounds. I don't know, you see me on stage with Hoovers. Shout out T-Rail. Nigga, because I stand on these grounds, bro, I'm about my community. Fuck what I feel and all that shit I was grew up to understood. Mm. That shit don't mean nothing. Nigga, I'm about this community. I'm about this culture. I'm pushing it forward. The only way I'm pushing it forward, nigga, I'm going to do what I got to do. I got to be a nigga for my culture. So guess what? So whatever I believed, all that shit I got whacked out, all that shit, nigga, Nigga, take, take back and understand these niggas as human beings first. And I understand these niggas. I understand the culture more. I understand life more. And you niggas that try to break down us, try to tear us down by any means necessary, fuck you. Charleston White, Whack 100. If I see you, bitch, I don't give a fuck who you with. You could be with 100 niggas from 60s, 30s, 90s, 100s, and all that. I'm going to get to you, nigga. I promise you that. Them niggas ain't built like me. I promise you that. Any nigga that stand with you is bitches, suckers. I'm chipper. I'm the captain of the ship. I'm not a mystery. I've been here for a long time, nigga. Doing what I do for a long time, nigga. And I stand on them grounds. That's just what it is. I fuck with niggas the way I fuck with niggas because it's what it is, bro. And I, I, I love these niggas. Like, I never thought at one, at one second that I thought that nigga like Do Sims from Fruit Town Brims would be a nigga I, I can call every day and, and, and confine into mm. and be a nigga into. There you go. Nigga like Stacks 280. Nigga from No Holloway in Jersey that I could come and call from Gray Street and like, hey, bro, this and that. Niggas like, nigga fucking, uh, my boy, uh, fucking, uh, uh, uh fucking Toon, Toon G, Gray Street. I'm calling here in VA. Bad news. I'm calling nigga like, hey, bro, this is what it is. Gray Street niggas. Lil Doodles. Gray Street niggas. Oh, yeah, the wave from Florida. Gray Street niggas. And I'm tapping in with these niggas, bro, every day. Like, what up, fool? And they, big bro, this, this, that. Right. Big bro. Fucking with me. Shh. Bro, this is my mental shit, bro. And y'all getting a picture. Y'all can see this shit from the jump. Y'all seeing some shit that's growing from the gate. I'm blowing my own mind, fool. Dead homies, this is destiny. You can't stop destiny. Come on, bro. 
They got told me, I, I read, I remember this, 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 this movie I was watching one time, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's called Law of Bias Citizen. Oh, yeah, with Jamie Foxx. Right. Law Niggas Butler. say, nigga, you can't, he's what I can't say, what, it's something like you can't, some with faith. It's like destined. You can't fuck with faith, nigga. When it's there, it's there. It's gonna happen. Mm. No ifs, ands, and buts. So if I can't, if I can't play with faith, if I can't, God already set the tone. Damn. He set the tone. I'm just walking the walk, nigga. Even Fifty Cent with one of my boy, uh, uh, shout out Young Buck, nigga. Cut say, nigga, it was two sets of footprints in the sand. It was one set of footprints in the sand. The 50, this 50 part though. He said, when time get hard and when shit hits the fan, God don't walk with me. He carried me, man. It's the truth, nigga. That's deep. When shit get hard, nigga, you don't do nothing, nigga. You just, nigga, float. Same with the YouTube shit and all that shit, bro. I just floated. Mm. And it, I'm just, oh, nigga, got a following. Because the real recognized, real, nigga. That part. We going to be real niggas. That part. We, and then you see all these niggas. Oh, these niggas follow these niggas for niggas. Uh, uh, why you follow Wack 100? Why you do this with this nigga Charleston White? For entertainment. Niggas follow me for nigga guidance and wisdom. It's a difference. It's a difference, nigga. A nigga leading his people out of niggas. Moses, nigga. That's a difference, nigga. Mm. I know I probably gonna be the nigga to see this happen. Nigga, Moses never seen the promised land. But nigga, I'm the resistance, nigga. Nat Turner, nigga. They didn't see the promised name, but look what that's now. <laughs> Hello. That part. Speak on it. That part. Stop playing with us, bro. We're the dead homies. Hey, let me ask you something, though. Back to the whole boxing shit, right? What, what, what did you think about the... Well, just first of all, I just want to let you know, nigga, I'm faded in the motherfucker oh, right now. We God! Damn! We listen. Only person damn, get like I'm this, bro. faded. My only person get like this, bro. Today I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Damn. You and my girl. Yeah. Moski, nigga. I, when I do the Slim Moski show, I gotta drink. Right. Drinks with drinks, I gotta drink, my that nigga. Part. You know, I'm not a drinker. You right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good enough to, to 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 maintain and do my thing. Right. But I am kind of. Uh, yeah. Hello. I'm feeling good. Yes, sir. I'm feeling good. But okay, so back to the boxing shit, right? What did you think about the Nina Boy versus Bosco match? Trash. Simple and plain. And, 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 and to a better understanding and a better lack of uh thing, Garbito. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You understand? Trash. Uh, Take it out. Because it shouldn't have been on the screen. Mm. But guess what? If I was a part of that shit, from the promotion, from everything, this and that, we would have got paid. 11 them Network. Y'all better come holler at me, man. I'm the truth. Y'all better start... Split media. Y'all come holler at me. I'm the truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to get a truth, the nigga, the truth behind y'all. Yeah, maybe they maybe they could set up the 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 uh, boxing match between you and 600, man. 600 going to take it. I you promise you. So? 600, do you want to see me? Keep it all the way clean with yourself. Do you want these knuckles in your chin? I'm going to say it. On some neighborhood crib shit. I'm going to hit up 600. I don't care what you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm I hit up because myself personally. <laughs> on the side, do you want to see me, cuz? And I will post the comment. What he say? No, nah, I'm gonna do that because that's that's whole shit. I'm not even gonna play some Michael Hunter shit on the dead homies. Whatever we do in combat and be in, in private, we do in private. Right, that part. On the set, I'm not even gonna lie. It's like I'm gonna do all this entertainment shit. Right, right. I'm gonna right. keep on. I'm a real nigga on the dead homies. But I know for a fact, on the dead homies, six hundred want to see me, cuz that's for a fact. Now, if you get another, uh, 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 uh. uh the answer, I'm willing to squabble cuz. I'm just telling you that. I'm, I'm going to hit 600 up. Right. And I'm going to ask him, would he fight you in a celebrity boxing match? Right. And then I'll let you know what the answer is. All right, gotcha. And, and maybe, you know, we could set something up. We can set something up if we can. If we can, we're going to keep it off camera. Exactly. We ain't going we, we to embarrass cuz too much because the nigga that need to be embarrassed, he probably somewhere playing with nigga booty. So we're going to keep it like that. Oh, damn. <laughs> This nigga slim. Every time this nigga come on drinks with Jinx, I gotta get it real. He talking some clean, shit like nigga. a motherfucker. Jinx. Boy, I tell you, Jinx. If God I give you damn. anything other than slim, I'm playing with you. Yeah, you will be faking the phone. That's what I'm right. trying to tell and, you, and, bro. And, yeah, I, no, I feel you. I, res I respect it. Cause you keep in a G. This is how you feel. This is what it is with you. I'm you know a real what I'm saying? Nigga. So if he came on this motherfucker and sugarcoated and, and was on some fake ass weirdo 
whole shit, then nigga, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be feeling that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But you don't, you don't come with that type of uh, mindset or that vocabulary, bro. You, you, you say what you mean and mean what the fuck you say. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know so, what I'm saying? and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So all you Miko Worldwide fans, I want y'all to know that now. Miko Worldwide. Oh shit! Here He's we go. He's a pedo. I'm going to get him. Listen, just keep the pen right here. Me and the camera, we talking. <laughs> Miko Worldwide, use a pedo. I want drinks to drinks right now. I'm faded as hell. Use a pedophile, and my mission is to take you down. All his subscribers should come subscribe to Jinx. If y'all want hood vlogs, subscribe to me. We're going to get it going. Real nigga doing real hood vlogs. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. The understanding, I'm not wanting a nigga to be up there with no guns or none of that. Why wouldn't you be up here with some guns? We get good contact without guns out here. Mm -hmm. We don't want the bullshit in our community, bro. Sipping and playing. Stop trying to post the negative shit in our community. You belong in the LGBTQ community. Stay there. I would not plop. Listen, we have no problem with these people. We respect these people by any means necessary. So what I'm saying is, if you that and you want to be pedo-ish, stay away from the kids. Start did focus on the 18-year-olds. You know what I'm saying? They still teens, 18, 19, but they're illegal. If you want to keep playing in Georgia, want to play with the 17s in Georgia, stay in Georgia. <laughs> Don't come into Los Angeles, California. Stay away from the gangs. Stay away from the hood vlogs. You are not qualified to be a part of us. Any hood vlogs out there that want to be put out there, contact China Mac, ODM Slim. Shit, I can even put you on 1090 Jake. I can help you out a lot. But we're not dealing with no pedos. We're not dealing with people that, that target children. That is an absolute motherfucking no-no. Period, bro. And I'm going to tell you about That's English. that Jeffrey uh, Epstein bullshit. Yeah, that's that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? That's that nonsense. And fuck Jeffrey Epstein and fuck that. And fuck his bitch, too, that his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah this, she, she got a lot. Shit. Yeah, fuck any motherfucker that's on that bullshit, Listen, bro, bro we here to We do to, not to condone build. that weirdo bull, suspect bullshit, We here to bullshit, build, bro. not tear down. Right. Only reason to tear them down if your community is built on false and negative shit. That part. We not standing on no false or negative shit. Never. Not in our community. Nope. What can we say? If you bullshit nigga, keep your bullshit ways away from me. Mm. That's why we're we going to start here. I'm going to announce today, no custer podcast coming soon. No custer shit. Mm. Ain't no custer shit allowed. That part. We come with bullshit. Me and C-Mac will be here talking that high power shit. Yeah. Even while he in jail. No custard podcast. It's a lie for real reasons. Mm -hmm. We don't want the custard shit in our community. We tear down any niggas like Charleston White, Wack 100, 6 9 mm. Nigga, you got niggas like fucking Hassan Campbell. One of, oh, yeah, I got raped and I did this and that, but this and that. I'm a gangster. Shut up. Wait, he got what? Wait. Yeah, now, yeah, know. get into that. I don't want to even promote oh, this bitch. I didn't bitch. even know that. Yeah, he admitted to getting raped again. He get his booty banged up, and he told, oh, 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 he bought me, he was begging me, and he was taking care of me at the same time. Oh, I never knew that. You a freak. Damn, Shut that's, up. That's new to me. I, hey, I didn't even fucking know that, bro. Now, I'm not are trying to. Are these facts, though, bro? These are facts. He said out of his own mouth. Now, Did my you know thing about is this. That I didn't know about that shit. It's supposed to be, I don't know, uh, what uh, the fuck? African boom body. I don't know the nigga whole. I don't know the nigga name like that. He's supposed to be in the industry, African boom body. He's supposed to be a nigga in New York. supposed to be getting it going with the hip-hop right, right, world. Right, 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 right. Right, and he was taking his cheek cheeks. <laughs> um, you can look it up. I, 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 give you I didn't know about that, Man, bro. Listen, you I just know about, I, I'm a hip-hop expert. I, my, I'm a content creator now, sir. <laughs> my job is to create content. There we go. So I must I must go well, deep in the I, facts. I think, I think we don't create a lot of motherfucking content today. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. You know it's about mean? creating content. It's about stating facts. Right, right. It's about educating the people. Facts. It's about building with the people. Mm. It's not about thinking we superior at all to nobody. Nobody's bigger than a motherfucking program. Understand that. Respect that. 
Facts. We'll be in a better place as a whole, as a people. Mm -hmm. If we feel like Jay-Z, Beyonce, it's just like us. But we don't. We feel like they don't hire S-Line and hire a pedestal. And that's where we go wrong. Because they bleed like we bleed. If Beyonce or Jay-Z get hit with 10 bullets, and guess what? They will be deceased like we will be deceased. Same difference. We got to understand we got to stop putting these people on a higher pedestal than we is. Mm. We empower people. We are the consumers. We are the viewers. We are the community. If we, if we don't empower them, there will be nobody. Mm. I understand that. That part. Take your power and keep it in yourself. Watch who you empower. Watch who you doing stuff with. And the energy too you talk you talked oh, about. Yeah, man. You know, you can't, you know energy. what, bro? You can't shake every person's hands, bro. Right. Like there's some people I come around, bro, and, and they try to shake my hand. I'm just like, hey man, my bad man, energy change. But it even that, it even that. If it's that, cause like when you control your energy, I, that's my thing. Protect your energy. That's my thing. Yeah. That's my thing. Protect right. your energy. Yeah. We we big on that on OEM Slim Show, Slimowski show. We big on 